Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter. I was really excited to, after this last test burn, to take my stove apart and dig into it a little bit because I really dialed it in and got it working efficiently and I knew it got hot. Okay babe, so I was just pulling the unburnt charcoal out of the stove and I know earlier when I was kind of brainstorming and envisioning how the portal was going to work and when I molded that aluminum pipe in it. But as soon as I start a fire in it, it's going to melt out. Well, it didn't on the first burn. It never got hot enough. It didn't get over 1220 degrees on the first burn because I didn't have the air fuel mixture right. It wasn't until I drilled more holes in and figured out how to get it efficiently burning. It got super hot. Everything worked perfect. And right now, I'm gonna pull out this little stream. It looks like a lava stream in here. I'm gonna see if she can put the camera in there and see it. Uh, you see that little ribbon uh, that looks like it's flowing out of the bottom of the portal, babe? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, now watch, I'm gonna pull that out now. So you're gonna have to back, well, hold on. Let me see if I can. It's a blob of aluminum. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Now, I think it burned pretty dang hot. It looks just like the picture, like you said it would, babe when I was talking about as soon as I start a fire in it the aluminum's gonna melt out of there <laughs> you know what's crazy though the only thing that didn't melt was the pipe I used <laughs> I'm gonna go get it <laughs> is that crazy but the pipe I used was this pipe that was off of a piece of army equipment. Now it has a special coating on it that's non-reflective so that um, if someone's throwing radar your way they can't detect you with radar. It's called caulk. It's very toxic. You don't want to burn it and breathe the fumes. Uh, if you're ever cutting it you want to be in a ventilated area. But the crazy thing about it is, is that aluminum melted out but come and look in here babe and check this out. The only thing that didn't burn out was the coating. What? Watch this. I'm gonna pull a little bit of it out and show you. Look, it's even the green color. It's even the green color. The coating did not burn that was on that aluminum. It now the interesting thing is I was pulling out this coating, the green coating that came off of uh, the pipe. And um, when I got down to the bottom, the inside, the very bottom, it was not melted. The, the tube was not melted except for on the top portion and up after that. So that just gives you an idea that it was just barely, barely less than 1220 degrees right there. So it was just right there as it went up, it was less than 1220 degrees. And at the top, of course, where the extra oxygen gets put in there, it was super hot. And all that just melted right down and turned into molten aluminum. Wait, do I have this upside down? Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, give you a little shot of the uh, refractory mix in the portal after the aluminum melted out what it looks like so it's just nice and smooth the refractory mix seems to be holding up pretty good and there it is I have a container with some water glass in it that I diluted about 50 50 and I'm spreading it on the inside of the portal just to kind of give it a seal coat and it, 
Uh, you gotta see this. This is crazy. Watch how it just absorbs it. Look at that. It's just sucking it in. That is the craziest thing. Hey guys, if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe. We're testing all sorts of cool stuff. Go ahead and check out the video that my wife and I put together on Aircrete and a foam generator that I put together. It's incredible and also, uh, if you like it, you can go to Honeydew Carpenter Shop at Etsy and get all the plans and everything you need to put one of those together. It's incredible. And, uh... You don't have to tell them it's really cool. Just tell them to check it out. They'll know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and also, go ahead and check out the video that I made on Aircrete and a foam generator that I put together. I'm sorry. I don't know what. What was I? In the Etsy store. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>